How to set up a Pixie blind and signal controller for motorised blinds in your smart home. First, the blind controller needs to be added into the Pixie apps. Of course, this assumes you have powered and connected your Pixie blind controller. In the app, head to the devices section, select the three little dots in the top right hand corner and select add device. The Pixie app will scan for new devices and provide a list of available Pixie devices which can be added to the home. We've discovered a Pixie blind and signal controller. Press the add button to add this device to your Pixie home. Now choose which room you would like to add this to or create a room if you have not already and give the device a name so you can identify it in the list of Pixie products. and then press save. Now head back to the rooms page, select the all device tab atop the page to reveal all of your Pixie devices and go ahead and find the device you just added. After first adding the Pixie blind controller, you need to create a control panel. Press the button in the middle of the page to begin. Pixie provides three pre-programmed configurations to make setting up the controller faster and simpler. In this example, we're selecting the roller blind option. The pre-setup control panel for a roller blind is loaded. You can now edit and check each of the functions and even add some new ones of your own. It's possible to have up to nine different commands per blind controller on the control panel. Let's check and configure the up button by clicking the little pencil icon. Ideally, you would first name this button if the app description is not correct. Each of the two 6 amp relay channels can be configured in a number of different ways depending on the type of motors being controlled. Typically for 3 or more motors, the Pixie blind controller will be used to short pulsing interface units supplied by the motor manufacturer, which in turn communicates wirelessly to their motors installed in the roller blinds. For four wire motors, the Pixie blind controller directly connects to the motors and using the close contact timed feature is used to open and close the blinds. There's a few options to choose from depending on what type of blind motors you have. A timed contact closure for a defined period of time such as exactly one second. A short pulse less than one second. A double short pulse less than one second each. This combination of different closures means you can control just about every type of motorised blind curtain and awning available today. In this case, we are just setting channel 1. Press save when the up button is configured. Now, let's configure the pause or stop button. In this example, we are setting both relays to short pulse when this button is activated. Press save. Now, let's set up the down button and we're choosing for channel 2 to deliver a short pulse when the button is pressed and channel 1 to remain open or do nothing. You can create up to 9 buttons for each blind controller as needed for your project. And then you can create scenes which incorporate your blinds operation, schedule the blinds to automatically open, close and even control your blinds with your voice when using the Pixie Plus app and Pixie Gateway with Google, Alexa or Apple Watch.